Hello, this is an industrial control circuit troubleshooting 2, 6 module. Now we are doing extra skill test number 14. The work order that we received stated that the program has gone wacky. We need program 12 to run, but it didn't run as per expected. What is the problem? Let's dive in. By visually checking the external devices and the circuit, I don't find any abnormality. So, as the work order stated, the system owner need the program trail to run. So, this is the program one. We need to open the program trail and download into the PLC CPU. Okay, the tank fills to 85% full with liquids from intakes 1 and 2 in alternating 1 second burst while being agitated. The heating starts when the tank is full. Until the temperature reaches 70 degrees Celsius, the mixture rests for 5 seconds, then is pumped out in 4 second intervals. Okay. So now, we can try to run the process. However, you see something is wrong here. There's a blinking LED light at the PLC output channel switch. So, output channel LED. So what is wrong with that? As we know, this kind of strange thing happen on the lighting when there is not enough voltage. We need about 230 volt AC to run, okay, the to, 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 to light out the lighting, okay. If the voltage is low, example maybe about 110 or 180 volt, volt AC voltage, it will not be able to sufficiently light out the lighting so you become very dim just like you buy the bulb the higher watt the the light will be brighter the bulb will be brighter if you buy with the lower watt the power is lower the lighting is not that strong it becomes slightly dim compared with higher watt similarly in this case the led light is very dim implying that the power is low meaning the voltage is low. So this can be due to either the transformer having an issue giving low voltage or there is something wrong with the common neutral line where there is a slightly loose termination. If we say very loose termination, it can equate it with open circuit. If slightly loose termination or connection, we can equate it with a load with slightly high resistance. Imagine there is a load here due to slightly loose connection or termination at the common line, neutral line. When we measure the voltage here, the current flow through here will be branched into two paths. One path to the multimeter, the other path to the common neutral line. If all the termination is good and there is no issue here, the, this line having a very low resistance so all the current will only flow through this common neutral line they're having lowest resistance remember current flow through the path with least resistance so there's no current will flow through the multimeter hence giving zero volt okay if there is a slightly loose connection here okay what will happen is this slightly loose con con connection or termination will result a virtual something you cannot see just a virtual load with a slightly higher register somewhere along this neutral line common neutral line so when you measure the voltage by putting the red probe or the multimeter at this point the current that flow through the circuit will divide it into two paths one path to this common neutral line that have a virtual load okay due to as a result of slightly loose connection another part of the multimeter hence there is a voltage lower than 230 volt AC register on the multimeter if there is a very loose connection term or termination somewhere along this common neutral line we can equate this very loose connection as open circuit so when you measure the voltage here there's no way the current can go to open circuit or the current will go to multimeter hence it will give you full 240 volt or 230 volt AC okay so how to check it first we'll check the transformer 
whether transformer give the correct voltage. If not, then transformer is faulty. Second, we check the common neutral line to make sure there is no loose connection. Okay? So, set to AC voltage and we check the transformer. Ah, the voltage is very low. So, implying that the transformer have issue. When we stop this, open back, it's about 200 volt. So, something is wrong too. We run the process. Something is not right also. So maybe the transformer go issue. We need to change the transformer. So we need to count the main power supply and perform the local takeout. Then we just replace the transformer and normalize the multimeter. Remove the local takeout and turn on the power. Maybe we can measure the voltage one more time. Okay, and start the process. Okay, drain the water inside the tank and start the process. It looks like everything going fine. And uh, you see the, the lighting become better and brighter. There's no way like a dim lighting happened before. Hopefully, there is no further problem during the process running. Now, waiting the float temperature reach 70 degree before it proceed to next stage. After 5 seconds, you will pumping up. This Program, program in such a way, this PLC logic diagram program in such a way, it will pump out the fluid to the next stage in 5 different intervals or 5 bursts. Okay, pass.